Hello Michigan Gardeners, this is Doug at Bozzy Family Farm just outside of Marshall on Verona Road. Um, this is a follow-up video and a kind of to-do video if you're interested in that. Um, a few weeks ago I took some hollyhocks that we had seeded uh, in spring of 2020 and then we put them out in the field, um, grew them on, and then this spring I had enough extras that I planted some along the fence and I showed you how I did that with some newspaper and some mulch around them and uh, this is this is what resulted I'm really happy with it um, it took a little bit of wind damage last night uh, because we had the storms come through but we were very grateful for the additional rain we'd already gotten quite a bit of rain a few nights before um, but we were really grateful for the rain again so even though it kind of knocked the hollyhocks around a little bit um, here they are, and there's there's quite a few of them, and they go down down the line, and you can see the darker colored ones down there. Again, depending on how the wind came in, they kind of got knocked around. Um, but not a lot of weeding in around the hollyhocks because again, I I planted them into the ground, didn't add anything because hollyhocks are very tough. I never watered them during our long, long, long dry spell that we had. And um, after I put the newspaper around them, after I planted them, I put the newspaper around them and then I mulched and it worked out really well. Um, so it's, again, it's something you might think about next spring. Planting early really um, saves you a lot of watering and a lot of problems down the road where you might feel like you have to run water to them. I never watered these, they just made it through on their own. Um, I'm going to take you up in the garden and um, show you a couple of other things that are follow-ups to my videos that I've been doing, and then i um, show you one of the cleanup things I'm doing in the garden. So one of the um, first videos I did was on um, winter sowing, um, putting out some seeds and letting them um, in March, and letting the freeze and thaw cycle that we get in March and April help to germinate those seeds. And these plants here are one of the poppies that I did. I can't remember the name of it now, but um, some of them have already flowered and gone by. But that was something that I did back in March with some seeding um, that I did in March, just uh, casting the seeds out for some poppies. Uh, again, sometimes they're called bread poppies or opium poppies. This is this is a different type of poppy. I'm not sure which kind it was, but it's just something to try. And, and you can fill in kind of a blank spot. This is an aster over here, which will bloom in the fall. But this gives a little color here um, right now in uh, mid-June um, and something that you don't often see in the garden. And I'm gonna pause you one more time and then take you over to an area where I'm doing some work in the garden to clean up. So this is a planting of Walker's Low cat mint and it still looks pretty good. Um, but I'm going to um, cut it back and it will bloom again in maybe a month's time. Um, we'll see color again. won't be quite as big, which is fine because behind it I have some um, sedums. But uh, catmint is one of the things right now that if you've got it, it's starting to go by. It's also starting to go to seed. So if you're not careful, you'll have a lot more catmint than you might want. And you can see these seed pods in here opening up right now. So I want to um, cut it back before it does that and give it a chance to regrow and rebloom. Give me some probably later July, August color uh, when the garden doesn't have a lot of color. But just shear it back. And when I say that, I really do mean shear it right back. You can take it And take it right back maybe three or four inches from the ground and um, cut it right back nice round shape that the catmints have and again it will grow right back from that likes dry weather you don't need to water it um, like I said we've had some rain recently uh, lots of rain recently actually so but you can cut it right back and, and get it to start all over again. Won't be quite as tall the second time, but it will give you another uh, flush of color. Um, so uh, think of some other things to um, share with you in the next video. And until then, I'll, 
I'll see you at that time.